Okay, we are finally here to record this review. We have tried so many times to figure out a time to do this. We've been trying to record this for like a week and a half now, but hopefully we're good now. And it's Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution of the Daleks. I watched this episode a while ago. I just rewatched it randomly and I loved it then, but then I rewatched it for this and um, my opinion went down. That's interesting that you watched it and you liked it because I remember never really liking this. And if anything, I would say my opinion went up slightly. Not by very much, but I would say it went up rather than down. Oh, okay. My overall opinion on this is not very positive. Even though, like I said, I would <laughs> say my opinion did go up a little bit, but still not, not by very much. There's just a lot of little things about this that I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Together, they kind of make a not very, uh... Good episode? Yeah. Um, most of the performances are good, I would say. Yeah, I guess. Andrew Garfield's in this. Yeah, I think that's a complete waste of talent, though. Yeah, but they didn't know at the time, really. Wait, is Andrew Garfield British? It says here he was born in Los Angeles. Oh, wait. It says he has both British and American citizenship. It says his family moved from California to Epsom in Surrey. When he was three. So yeah, he is British. I mean, yeah, he's been there his whole life. I didn't know that. Okay, we got a little off topic there. <laughs> I would say the Tallulah lady was kind of over the top with her crazy oh, accent and all that stuff. And the uh, <laughs> human Dalek. See, I really liked that. I really liked the makeup and I really liked the concept. Wow, because I don't think that performance was good and I think the costume was ridiculous. So <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do I have for positives here? I like the presence of the Daleks. I like how they acknowledge how the Daleks keep surviving. Yeah. And how it emphasizes how much that frustrates the Doctor. Didn't the, like, last Dalek, like, teleport away? Mm-hmm. Emergency temporal shift. Yeah, I like that instead of them continually dying. Then, oh, they're back again. Yeah. I like the leader of the town. He died yeah. kind of idiotically but other than that oh, i hated that death. i liked him yeah that was kind of that was kind of a dumb moment like what it was pathetic the doctor just stood there and watched him do it too when he knew what was gonna happen yeah. the whole time I'm... anyway yeah. i liked the setting of new york but again i think it went overboard with the people and their over-the-top performances and exaggerated accents and stuff like that so i have a list of just nitpicks that i'm just gonna rattle through right now so first of all the pig slaves, why do they turn I... them into pigs? Why pigs? <laughs> it's so laughable, like they're pig people. This is a really nitpicky thing, but at one point when uh, Martha like sees the the guy that got turned into a pig on the stage, oh, yeah. she like runs right across the stage in the middle of a performance. No yeah. logical person would ever do that. That's just, you just run into the middle. Yeah, even Martha. I feel like Martha is smarter than that, not to cause so yeah, much attention. she's hiding behind the people performing that yeah that was not a fan of that it was a laughable amount of times that they could have killed the doctor super easily and they just didn't oh, yeah which is like yeah. that's you know kind of a cliche for doctor mm -hmm. who but it was <laughs> actually funny the amount of times that happened in this episode mm -hmm. even though that happens a lot my biggest problem with this episode is that it's just very long or this two-parter like they were in the sewers that did that had very little purpose I was going to say that I think the core concept of Daleks getting desperate and abandoning their like obsession with purity and all that, I think that could have worked better as an interesting one-off concept if yeah. they really just focused on that concept and executed it better. Like, it could have been really cool, but they barely touched on it. Yeah, they should have just kind of focused on that more because like, that whole like subplot with uh, Laszlo... And him getting turned into a pig and all that. Like, what was even the purpose of that other than just to pad out the runtime so that you could have a first episode to the story? The first episode was like... Nothing happened. Yeah, the more you think about it, the more you realize how little of what was in that first episode really mattered. I, I was even thinking about this. Like, nothing happened for the first episode in like 15 minutes of the second. That's when the story starts. That first episode, like... The the whole thing with the Dalek being turned into a human doesn't happen until right at the end of that episode. And that's, yeah. like, if that's the story you're trying to tell, that whole concept of a human Dalek and all that, and that doesn't even start till halfway through. All this stuff in the first half is just not necessary. So how I would fix this 
episode. First off, it would be a single episode. We would keep the cold open, except Laszlo doesn't get turned into a pig person. He is going to be the one to turn into the Dalek human hybrid. Oh, that is a good idea. None of the sewer stuff will happen. The doctor and Martha land in New York, and they're like, ooh, let's go see a show. So they go see Tallulah's show, and they wound up backstage, and Tallulah's like, Laszlo's gone. Where is he? And so the doctor's like, hmm, where is he? And he investigates, and the doctor meets the Daleks. Wow, I really like that idea. All right, what is your score for this episode? Oh, this is tough. It's a tough one. Because I don't think I hate it. I don't think, like, I hate this episode. I I think I will give it a 4.5. Interesting. Uh, I think it had potential. Yeah, it had potential. I was stuck between 5.5 and 5. So I think I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 and put it in last place. I think I'll put it in 11th place. So third to last. So above Knock Knock and the End of Time. I'm happy with that. Griffin, I hate to admit this, but I don't think The Curse of the Black Spot is number one. I knew that you would change your mind on that eventually because that is just insane. But we cannot make any changes until we get to the uh, 20th review, right? That's what we decided. We'll do another fixing the list video once we get there. Anyway. So we're going to go pick our next episode. We're going to cut to that. All right. Here we go. Mixing them up. And I'm just picking one. Boom. It's been selected. Oh, my. Very interesting. It is a Christmas special. Oh, Christmas in April. All right, which one is it? It is The Time of the Doctor. Oh. oh. I remember having very mixed feelings about this. There you go. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye.